Yes. You see we had a conveyor pull in? One of them interstellar jobs. Hard to miss something, that. Crew members Ellie and Max are engaged. We are now in orbit above Edgewater, Captain. I'd wager this is the outpost. Rebecca! Anders! Come on out! Love a good bra! Nice work! Don't mess with us!
Take a gander. Huh. Rebecca taught me this once. You can jerry-rig these old locks so as they don't open anymore. But we've only ever done that if we're in a real bind. Here, I'll fix it. Oh, no. Oh, no. What did you do? Oh, hell. I'm sorry, Yuka. I don't... they were... That bitch! They were all set to abandon us! What would Clara say, huh? Every day she'd ask if we heard from you. And she'd have forgiven you! The kid had a soul that made the sulfur smell like roses! Ugh. I'd leave your medallions to rot with you, but... Clara would want to be buried with her sister. At least... at least I know. Ought to have learned by now that getting one's hopes up tends to open them to being dashed across the stars. I hate to say this, but... Clara died thinking her sister was still fighting to get back home. I think... I'm glad. If she were still alive now, it'd break her to know the truth. Yeah, maybe. I'm used to disappointment. She was still so naive as to let it hurt her every time it happened. Only thing left is to take these medallions home, which means figuring out how to bait the Mana Queen out of our old base. The most pissed off I've ever seen a queen was when a foreign species was on her soil. I'd wager the stench of a primal might do the trick. No, we need a plan. You may be a capable sort, but so are my friends. I ain't making that mistake twice. Never had the pleasure of hunting primals, but I hear they're all over Scylla. Let's tear a few apart, shall we? Come! I don't know who you are or why you're prowling around here, but I'm willing to make a guess. You're one of Harlow's gun hands, ain't you? He sent you after me. Right. You just stumbled into a camp full of armed strangers because you wanted directions. How much is Harlow paying you? A favor, huh? Let me guess. 
He promised you some reward in the brave new world that was to come. Said he'd make you his lieutenant if you crossed me off. Thing is, you and I are at an impasse. Arlo wants me dead, and I've got no intention of dying. How do I know that I can trust you? Yeah, guess that's a fair point. Listen, I don't know what lies Harlow's dripped down your ear, but you'd be a fool to trust him. I never betrayed Harlow. Harlow betrayed all of us. The board's got him in their pocket, been paying him off for years. All that palaver about revolutions? It's a lie. You're a real piece of work, Trask. Not just a turncoat, but a liar, too. Go piss up a rope, kid. I've got nothing to prove to you. That's the whole truth. Harlow's just another bored asset. A two-bit mercenary wearing a dissident's clothes. Yeah, I've got proof. There's always a paper trail when the board's involved. I chanced upon some correspondence between Harlow and his employer. I don't know that it makes a difference. What was I to do with that evidence? Bring it in front of the board? There's no authority in Halcyon willing to take Harlow to task. Huh. You ain't like other board agents I heard about. You got a functioning spine. You want to confront Harlow yourself? Be my guest. I hid my papers before Harlow chased me out. Back in the middle of the base, there's an old vent in a utility corridor. I stashed my evidence in that vent. Board sanctioned piracy. Harlow went after the ships the board wanted destroyed, capturing anybody the board wanted captured. If we captured you, we'd ransom you. Harlow liked to do the job himself. Gather up the captives on his own ship, vanish for a couple of days. Only that's not what happened. Harlow's been selling his captives off to the board. I don't know where they ended up. Re-education, Tartarus, maybe worse. Because he's for sale. Anything the board can buy, the board will buy. And that includes loyalty. With Harlow in their pocket, the board had an informant, a pirate, a smuggler, and a gang leader all rolled up into one odious excuse for a human being. Sounds like a deal to me. Take it, you've made up your mind. You gonna tell Harlow I'm dead? May as well. I'm never going back to that life again. Uh, here, take the ring. And for what it's worth, my gratitude. Clyde Harlow, agent of the board. Yeah, that sounds even more insane out loud than it did in my head. Then again, Trask knew he was a dead man. Could have been trying to shift the blame. I can't imagine Clyde working for the board. But we owe it to ourselves to find out. Trask said he stashed the evidence in a vent back at the base. We should go take a look. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. Welcome back, Captain. Forgive me, Captain. I would rather not discuss Alex Hawthorne today. Was there another topic on your mind? No. I am sure I cannot feel emotions. The memory has merely disrupted one of my processors. Glitches can be quite uncomfortable. 
It was my fault he died. I should have predicted the statistical unlikeliness of success of my captain's actions. In fact, I did, but illogically disregarded the results. He asked me to trust him. Captain Hawthorne attached 98.4% of the ship's processes to my computer, thereby giving me near total control. I have been programmed to deftly calculate navigation vectors through asteroid fields while also operating our ship's toasters. Alex also taught me the concept of a personality. He was quite delighted when I crafted one in order to better engage with him. It was basic in the beginning. The information in my memory banks says I am an autonomous digital astrogator created by, redacted, on the date of, redacted, for the express purpose of, redacted, I have not yet decided if I should attempt to uncover the missing information regarding my birth. I asked once. Alex did not build me, and would not say who did. How could- See you soon, Cap- Destination reached, Scylla. Salutations. This unit's primary function is excavate or current active command. Excavation. Negative. This unit achieves perfection by fulfilling its directive. You know, it's a crying shame that auto mechanicals can't get drunk or laid. This thing needs both. This unit has now exhausted its available library of opinions about excavation. This unit is removing rock matter in search of minerals, metals, and other forms of matter designated valuable. Brevity identified. Affirmative. Thank you for your consumer loyalty, Junior Excavator. Greetings.
That queen ain't gonna go down easy. I can't wait. What's up? Outstanding. There's an old base I used to call home. I can get us in the door, but we'll have to shoot our way through the queen's brood to get to the center. Password to the door is Charon. Hayes's idea. Clara, Hayes, Anders, Rebecca, Opal, Nioka. Charon. He said it was some old myth. Something about death and all the things we killed. Rest of us just thought it sounded cool, so here we are. Fucking right we are. Captain? If you're looking for crew members Ellie or Felix, they're sharing a drink upstairs. So then I says, fine, I'll pay you back for all of it, with interest. Nice one. You must have had them quaking in their heels. I mean, I wasn't really gonna do it. I just wanted to make them feel bad. Pay you back with interest. I gotta remember that one. Would have felt better if it had worked. Destination reached. Scylla.
We need to have a word with Clyde. Looks like Trask was telling the truth. It's all there. Clyde was a pirate for hire, and the board was paying him off. In typical board fashion, they left a trail of receipts behind. Ain't that just ironic? Yeah, you and me both. Clyde owes me, owes us some answers. What's the word? So it is. I hope you never have to discover what it is like, Captain. The relief one feels when a mutiny comes to an end. And Trask had some things to say about you. And I've got my own misgivings. That's a damning accusation. Am I right to presume you have some evidence on hand? Those papers don't prove a thing. We've all done business with the board. They own the whole damn colony. Trask put you up to this. <laughs> that miserable wretch. He's trying to undermine everything I stand for. You've got a lot of nerve calling me a liar to my face. How should I know? What the hell do I care? Trask was a traitor. I didn't ask you to understand his motives. I asked you to cross him off. Clyde, look me in the eye and tell me it's not true. Tell me, and I'll believe you. Don't talk to me like I'm some common criminal, Felix. You're the one on trial, not me. I don't know what kind of poison that snake dripped in your ear, but as far as I'm concerned, you've been compromised. Oh, God. Captain, Felix and the Vicar are arguing again. You ain't making a lick of sense. This is... this is definitely not how I imagined it'd end. The void's black, water's wet, and Clyde hated the board. That's something I just knew. Now? I don't know. I don't know what to think. No. I guess you really don't. I've just got a lot on my mind right now. This is, uh... This is a lot to take in. I always looked up to Clyde. The thought that he could be an agent of the board is just abhorrent to me.
Yeah, he did. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna get over that. I hope so. I don't see this one passing anytime soon. You've given me a lot to think about. I'm gonna be mulling over this whole mess for a couple of days. Part of me wishes we'd put Trask in the ground. You know, I think that's just my frustration talking. Thanks for your time, boss. Here we go. Great work. Well, this is the spot. You know, I thought I'd be angry. I thought I'd storm in here in a rage and exterminate all these bugs and everything would be all right in the end. But I ain't. I'm mostly just empty. A little sad, maybe. The first night Hayes and I spent in here, we knew it was home. It's safe. It's got a nice chill to it. But mostly, it doesn't stink of sulfur. Monarch folks often joke about it. Not because of the smell or the grittiness it leaves in your throat. Not because of the headaches or the coughing. It's because there's no escaping it. It's life here, and there ain't anything you can do about it. But here, somehow the sulfur never made it. The nights we spent in here felt like vacations. So we started building. We hauled in steel, hired sublight folk to help. That's how we met Anders and Opal. They stuck around after our contract was up. Opal liked camping. Anders liked chasing her tail. Four of us for a while, scraping together what bits we could to build our home. Then came Rebecca, a sawbones out of the Cascadia survivors, who took a kindness to Hayes. And Clara, her little sister. I'll admit I wasn't keen on taking her on at first, 
but for a teenager, she was surprisingly capable. Believe me, I had my complaints. She had a head for numbers, helped us trade hides for food and materials, negotiated contracts, turned out to be mighty useful. Clara, Hayes, Anders, Rebecca, Opal, and me. Six folks, one name, one family, Charon. Despite Monarch trying to kill us day in and day out, we managed to belong. Me too, Captain. But I'm starting to think that maybe I've found another. Now let's get to shooting before I get all sentimental. Returning fire! I wish these were more auspicious circumstances, but at least we're all here. That makes it stupid. By all accounts, we should have left well enough alone, but that also makes it right. Captain, thank you. Do you mind if we rest a spell before we head out? I'd, I'd like to bury Opal and Clara proper before I lay everyone's medallions to rest. What? Why? Them's painful memories, Captain. Huh. That's... That ain't a bad point. All right, Captain. Thanks. <laughs> 